Hey guys, it's Brooks. Uh, like I said, I was going to build a, a mechanical bungee uh, release mechanism that runs off of a, a standard servo uh, so that it can be triggered uh, by my uh, extra spare channel on my uh, UHF radio. Um, it's over engineered, as with most of the stuff I do. Um, it only has to hold about 25 pounds on the bungee uh, when it's under full tension for the launch, um, but it's all heavy gauge. That's all. Uh, eighth inch uh, aluminum, well probably, yeah, about eighth inch aluminum plate and then I made the uh, actual hook out of eighth inch steel just because I figured it was going to be under more stress. So it could probably hold well over, I don't know, 100 pounds without any problem, uh, but I wanted to design in a certain margin of error and safety for it as well. So it's just screwed together in, in several places there. Um, I just ended up using some angle iron there uh, instead of a solid plate and made it easier to mount the servo. Um, yeah, and the servo arm, you can see here, I just extended it with another little piece of this aluminum actually on the back side, um, and then it, it sits flush right up against the servo there with nice clearance, and it made everything tie in really well without any uh, strange angles here. So this is the actual release mechanism here um, that latches um, against the actual hook. I'll show you that in a second. And you can see there's some mechanical advantage here with the leverage back to that servo. So this servo really doesn't work very hard even under heavy load. So I'll go ahead and actuate it. So that lifts up and you'll see this hook piece flies out. So that's also got a lot of leverage on that. So there's very little uh, friction up here uh, when it's resting against the stop. And this is the hook here where you actually hook on uh, the bungee or the payload. So I'll go ahead and uh, show you a couple tests with some weight on it just to show that it works. Okay, I have the bungee release mechanism on a uh, portable fish scale, just a cheap uh, Hobby King version. And it's teared right now for uh, zero weight as long as I'm not moving it around. All right, let's tear it one more time here. Okay, so that's reading zeros. So just to show that it's sensitive enough for uh, even light bungee poles, um, they've just got a standard you know, 2200 milliamp hour lipo. We all know what those weigh. And we'll hook that on the release mechanism. And let's see. I don't know. Yeah, we all know what they weigh. About 0.1, 0 .1 pounds. And I'll go ahead and trigger it. Okay, now we're going to test it with some heavy load on it. You can see there's still minimal tension on the mechanism bar itself I can easily depress it with my hand I'd say there's probably about I don't know maybe two pounds of force against that stop right there and you can see I have it connected to I'm not sure if you can see that there it's about 54 pounds of sand in a bucket Step back here. Three, two, one. No problem. Okay, one final uh, improvement I made was I put a small safety pin on it to uh, prevent it from uh, firing prematurely. So this pin just blocks out that latch mechanism. And you can see even if the servo actuates, it just stalls. Obviously, can't pull through that steel pin. So, right prior to launch, pull the safety pin and fire.